Extruded wire, cable, and tubing is manufactured in many different sizes, shapes, and configurations. The extrusion process begins with bare wire or cable being fed into the extruder. This diagram illustrates a typical extruder. The insulation or jacket compound material is fed into the hopper in its solid form. It is then heated as it is pushed to the crosshead by way of screw and barrel. As the screw turns, it pushes the material to the crosshead. Here is a typical screw and barrel used in this type of extrusion. In this diagram, you can see how the material is fed from the hopper down the screw to the crosshead. The crosshead holds the die which controls the shape and size of the wire or cable or tubing. By the time the material enters the crosshead, it is in its liquid form. The insulated material then goes into a chilled bath to cool and help retain its shape and size. Once a cable is cooled, it is then dried and tested for defects with a spark tester. This type of spark tester has small beads which are electrified and will detect any holes or non-coverage in the jacket. If a defect is detected, a spark will occur and leave a mark on the insulation or jacket material. The defect will then later be removed. The wall thickness and overall diameter is regulated by the die, temperature, and the speed of the extruder. To ensure the dimensions are kept within tolerance, a laser mic is placed in line to monitor the dimensions.